Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solve radical equations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Okay, so like always, let's start with the definition here. Radical equations. An equation containing terms with a variable in the radicand is called a radical equation. So what is that? We'll see an example, okay? Sample six here. We want to solve an equation with one radical. And radical is like a square root. That's one of them. 15 minus 2x equals x here. Okay? So what do we do? All right? Well, we know that's a square root, and how to get rid of a square root is we square it, right? Kind of goes together. So what we're going to do is square both sides. So 15, square root of 15 minus 2x, square that. We take x and we're squaring that as well. This eliminates that square root, and so we have 15 minus 2x, and that's equal to just x squared. Okay, well now we need to set this equal to zero. So I like having a positive value for my x squared, so I'm bringing everything just to the right. And we have zero equals x squared plus 2x minus 15. Hopefully you can get there. Well, from here, what we need to do is now we can well factor this. What two numbers multiply to be negative 15 but add up to be 2? Okay, so we have this. What two numbers multiply to be negative 15 and add to be a positive 2? And that's a positive 5 and a minus 3. Okay? So by setting each one equal to 0, we can see that x equals a negative 5 and a positive 3. But this is important. This is like the kicker with radical equations is we got to check both of them. When it, what do I mean by checking them? Take our original equation and plug both in. Okay, so let's do a little check here. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. So I take my equation, the square root of 15 minus 2x equals x, and what I'm going to do, and this is how I like to check it, is I substitute from the, in the original equation this value, negative 5, both into x and see left and right hand side are equal. So let's do that. 15 minus 2 times a negative 5 equals a negative 5. Okay? Let's simplify that. We have 15 here. Minus 2 times minus 5 is a positive 10 equals a negative 5. 15 plus 10 is 25. Looking good equals a negative 5. Square root of 25 is 5. Are they the same? No. Right? They're not the same. This check failed. Why? Positive 5 negative 5. Nope, not the same. That means negative 5 is not a solution. We need to check the other one now, okay? Check x equals 3. Same process. 15 minus 2, I'll put a positive 3 in for x here, equals 3. Let's see if these are equal. Square root of 15 minus, what is it, 2 times 3 is 6, so minus 6 equals 3. 15 minus 6 is a good old 9. So we square root of 9 here. Square root of 9, Positive 3, positive 3, are they equal left and right hand side? Yes, they are. Check. So 3 is the only solution here. So x equals 3 is the only solution. And what we call the negative 5 is what we call an extraneous solution. Okay, it's an extraneous solution. Okay, it doesn't work when we check it back up. So it's not a true solution. Okay? So let's go to another one here, number 7. And this one's going to have a... Uh, what is it? Two radicals? Yeah. Solving a radical equation containing two radicals. This might get a little hairy. Okay. So, let's go try that. Square root of 2x plus 3 plus square root of x minus 2 equals 4. Okay. So, what do we do here? Okay. Well, what I'm actually going to do, it's going to be a little interesting, is I'm going to subtract this x minus, square root of x minus 2 to both sides. So we have 2, square root of 2x plus 3 equals 4 minus the square root of x minus 2. Now with that, I want to get rid of this radical, so I'm going to square both sides. Okay? And in doing so, I'm left with uh, da, 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 2x plus 3 equals, okay, and this one's a little tricky here, we have that um, 4 minus square root of x minus 2 squared, okay? 
So what we can do here now is by using the perfect square formula for the right hand side, which I can I think I can fit right here, which is that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, barely got that in. I think, hope so. So we're going to apply that here where 4 is my a and um, square root of x minus 2 is my b value. So again, rewrite this 2x plus 3 equals 16. Uh, oops, let's do, let's show the steps, John. I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to show my steps. You're here to watch. You're here to learn. Let's go show our steps. 4 squared, a squared, minus 2a is 4, b is the square root of x minus 2, plus b squared, square root of x minus 2, squared. And this is kind of nice, because this is going to kind of get rid of that radical there. Keep simplifying, 2x plus 3 here equals 4 squared, which is 16, minus 2 times 4 is 8, square root of x minus 2. Plus here, well, square root, square, cancel each other out, x minus 2, left over. All right, kind of combining our like terms as much as we can here. So we have 2, uh, that's, a, that's x, 2x, <laughs> there we go, covered myself. Plus 3 equals 16 uh, minus 2, which comes out to be 14. Okay, plus x, I'm just bring it up, that's an 8. Plus an x. I said x, I wrote 8. Happens all the time. Make sure you catch yourself. Got me in trouble a lot in school, actually. Got a lot wrong by doing that. Plus x, and then minus 8, square root of x minus 2. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now, let's bring what we can, this part, over to the left-hand side. We subtract an x to both sides, giving us 2x minus 1x is x. Subtract 14 to both sides. 13 minus 14 is a minus 11. Equals a negative 8, x minus 2. Now, this one looks a little more manageable, right? A little more manageable. Again, let's go square both sides, everything here, and what we're left with, this left-hand side gets tricky, is x squared minus 22x plus 121 equals negative 8 squared to positive 64 and x minus 2. So much work here, so much work. All right, so what we're going to do is multiply that out again. Oh, so much here. x squared minus 22x plus 121 equals 64x minus 64 times 2 is 128. All right, all these steps. Let's bring everything over to the left-hand side. And so we have x squared minus, minus 22x minus 64x is minus 86x plus 121 plus 120 is 249 equals zero. Ugh. All right, because I know you had this off the top of your head. What two numbers multiply to be 249 but add to be negative 86? We're factoring here. I have the answer helping out here. X minus 3 and X minus 83. Okay? So that means our two solutions here are X equals 3 and 83. Are we done? No, of course not. We got to check. So let me go erase something here, and then we can go check this to see if we have any extraneous solution. All right, so now we're going to check here, this side, over here. We got two values, 3 and 83. Let's go with 3 first. And this is the kind of painful thing about radical equations that you always have to check. So we have... There we go. 2x plus 3 plus square root of x minus 2 equals 4. We're going to plug a 3 in. Let's go 3 here for the first check. Square root of 2 times 3 plus 3 plus square root of 3 minus 2. Does that equal 4? 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 is 9. Square root of 9. 3 minus 2 is 1. Does that equal 4? Square root of 9 is 3, square root of 1 is 1, and we're looking good. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 equals 4. So we're good on 3. 3 works. Okay, let's check 83. Mm, this is the extraneous solution one. Okay. So, how do we go from here? Same thing. Oh, too much. 2 times 83 
plus 3. Don't need all that radicand. Plus square root of 83 minus 2 equals 4. All right. Well, let's go simplify this part here. 2 times 83 plus 3 is 169. Plus 83 minus 2 is 81. So the square root of 81 here does that equal 4. Square root of 169 is 13. Square root of 81 is, well, you know it, 9 equals 4. And it's 13 plus 9 is, um, oh my goodness, off the top of my head, is 22. Does that equal 4? False, it does not equal 4. So our check for 83 doesn't work. So our only solution here is just x equals 3. 83 was what we call, again, an extraneous solution. All right. Well, now you should know how to solve some basic radical equations. If this video was helpful for you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, <laughs> thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com